How to find pi using just random numbers. First, let's draw a square. We'll say its side length is r, so its area is simply r squared. Next, we draw a quarter circle inside it. Its side length is also r. The area of this slice is 1 quarter pi by r squared. Now, here's the key. Look at the ratio of the circle's area to the square's area. When you write it out, the r squared terms on the top and bottom perfectly cancel out. And what are we left with? Pi divided by 4. But how are the random numbers related to this? Imagine throwing thousands of darts at the board. The darts land at random coordinates either inside the circle or outside. The proportion of darts that land inside the circle will be almost exactly the same as that ratio of the areas, pi over 4. So, if we take the number of darts inside, divide by the total, and multiply the whole thing by 4, we get a surprisingly good estimate for pi. This is the Monte Carlo method, a beautiful link between probability and one of math's most famous numbers.